Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. In this one, we'll look at SMTP. Okay, let's have a look at the objectives first. Under SMTP, you're required to configure a system to forward all email to a central mail server. The usual around installing the correct packages, configuring the firewall, um, etc. still applies. In the exam, you'll be given a centrally configured mail server. Um, so in this lab, we will configure server1example.com to accept emails for the domain example.com and we'll configure server2 to example.com to forward all emails to server1.example.com. In the exam, you won't have to configure a postfix to accept, accept emails. Um, that will be provided for you. So, okay, so let's get started. This is server1. First thing we need to make sure is the uh, packages are installed. Uh, by default it normally is, just to check rpm-qa and if you grab on postfix that will show you if it's installed. In our case it is. Um, we also need to make sure the service is um, started and enabled to start automatically. So systemctl is active will show us if the service is started and systemctl is enabled will show us if the service is set to start automatically. We also need to configure the firewall to accept uh, SMTP traffic. So firewall CMD list all shows us all the services that are enabled. Uh, SMTP is not. So to add that, firewall-cmd dash dash permanent dash dash add service equals SMTP. We'll add the uh, SMTP service. We need to reload the configuration, so that's firewall dash cmd dash dash reload. The file, the file that we need to um, add a configuration in is in etc postfix uh, main dot cf. Okay, let's have a look through this file. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make it uh, listen on an IP address. By default, it's set to localhost. So let's change that to the IP address of the server, which is 10.10.10.4147. Also, I've noticed uh, sometimes if all uh, INET protocols are enabled. Uh, it tries to communicate via IPv6, which causes problems. So let's explicitly set it to IPv4. Uh, my destination specifies what domain emails are accepted for. So we will add uh, example.com in here. Okay. And I think uh, that's pretty much it for accepting emails on server 1. Uh, yep, let's uh, save this file and uh, restart postfix. So systemctl restart postfix okay let's configure server 2 let's check the package is installed yep check if the service is enabled and started it is enabled Okay, let's configure this to forward all email to server 1. Slightly different configuration. Uh, 
So we want to change all our um, email addresses to say at example.com so root at example.com so we need to change my origin and we will set it to my domain okay the next thing is uh, so inet interfaces we can leave that actually because we're not accepting any emails or uh, you can set it to loopback dash only which is the same thing we'll change the ipv4 Okay, my destination, as we are not accepting any emails, we will leave this blank. So delete everything here. Okay. Now we need to um, tell it to relay all emails to server1.example.com. If you scroll a bit more down, you'll find the relay host section. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's add in uh, my relay host. So relay host equals square bracket server one dot example dot com. And I think that's uh, pretty much it. So we change our originating domain. Let's restart postfix. System CTO restart postfix. Okay, to test, we can use the mail program. So it's mail and then the address. So let's send it to upper at example.com. That is a user set up on the system. So that was subject test the body of the message hello and then to end you just do a dot there you go so let's uh, check the logs so the logs are in var log mail log okay so it looks like the email was sent to server one okay so let's check server one so we will change to user akbar and if we type mail that will show us any okay so there is one email let's check it there you go so root is from root at example.com at akbar at example.com and it's come straight through to server one so that concludes the video for smtp it was a simple uh, one and um, there are some contact details below if you have any questions or suggestions drop me a line